Okay guys, so before this tutorial starts, I want you to check out RaymondDigital.com. It's basically a website where you can get like really awesome high quality intro templates that are really easy to edit. All the info is in the description down below. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Vegas 14 tutorial and in this part 2 video, I'm going to show you guys a few things that you guys need to know. Uh, so first of all, before this video starts, I want to kindly ask you guys to subscribe because we're going to go ahead and hit that 100,000 subscribers milestone. So I would say, let's go and do that and let's just hit 100,000 subscribers. I'm so freaking hyped for this. So basically, in this video guys, we're going to talk about, mostly, uh, we're going to talk about the render settings and how to render a video properly. So basically, the first thing that we're going to do is we need the first settings and I'm going to show you guys the right ones uh, in this video actually so so I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now in this video so I would say make sure to smash the like button down below already and I would say let's get started so as you guys can see I have just a blank Vegas 14 uh, project open right here and basically in order to render out something I'm just gonna drag in I would say a, uh, a solid color I would say I'm gonna drag in white let's render out this part and let's go over to the best settings and the best formats so i would say let's just select everything and first of all before we're going to do, start go ahead and do that we are just going to go over to this little icon above the preview screen which says as you can see project video properties and right here we're going to talk about a few things so as you can see right now template let's say you want to render out your video in 60 fps 1080p what you're going to do is we're, you're going to pick hd 1080p 24p this one what we're going to do is we're going to go to frame rates and we're going to pick or or you can pick uh like 59 0.940 or you can just fill in 60 yourself right here boom it doesn't really matter that much then what we're going to do is we're going to go full resolution render quality we're going to put that to best motion blur type is gaussian the interlace method is blend fields and the resample mode is smart resample also you want to check adjust source media to better match project or render settings and obviously you want to just start all new project with these settings press on apply and boom you're actually done with this part so now we're going to go over to the actual render part so we're gonna go in the corner we're gonna pick file we're gonna pick render as and right here you want to pick as you guys can see we have a crap load of different formats as you can see all of them but the real one we need and we're, that we're gonna pick is sony avc slash mvc mp4 this one and we're gonna just pick also a 1080p 60 fps uh setting so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick internet 1080p 30p we're gonna just customize template and then we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place high definition 9 20 by 1080 the frame rate is also you can put, put this one to 59 or you can just fill in 60 yourself uh the next thing we're gonna do is we're, the number of slices we're gonna keep that at one the x the pixel aspect ratio on one also the bit rate on 16 million and we want to enable progressive download we're going to go to audio just keep this one on aac 48,000, 128,000, and stereo but then we're going to skip the system tab and we're going to go to project and the video rendering quality plays this guy to best and that is basically it obviously you just want to name it you want to name it so i'm just going to just call this youtube 60 fps then you want to just want to click on this little icon that's going to save your preset and then you are good to go so once we did that we're just going to just pick our template youtube 60 fps and you want to just click on render so those are the settings real quick over uh you know real quick overview so as you guys saw that is the, the best render settings for 1080p 60 fps and obviously guys i know there are a lot of different videos on my channel showing you guys how to render it but this is just a really quick video Video because this is part two about how to know vegas 14 how to get started and everything so that is basically how to render it real quick all right guys the next thing that i wanted to show you guys is adding text to a video now i can already hear you guys dude you already did a video on this we all know how to do it but people have been asking me uh like how to place text on video and also new people that are watching that don't know how to place text on because they clicked on the video because like I watched part one I watched part two I'm really a beginner at Vegas how do I actually place text on a video well it's really simple guys basically the first thing you need to do is you need to have a video yourself actually in the first place you want to text you want to place text on if you don't like I have you can just go over to media generators you can pick titles and text and as you can see we have all kinds of different ones with with transitions as you can see we have um 
shaking text, we have drop splits, we have this double flashed glow, we have so many other uh, presets. Actually, as you can see, when I you know you know when I just drag in this guy, it is just a pop up. As you can see, if I play back the video text file, it is just popping up, and like. We have so many different other presets, as you can see, it says preset right here. We have all kinds of ones, but if you say like, I want to have my own custom one, what you can do is you can just pick titles and text, drag it on top of your, you know, your video track. You can just pick titles and text, drag it on top of there. And right here you have your sample text. What we're going to do is we're just going to type in just Alex Halford and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to pick 20. And as you can see, we have all kinds of different fonts. Obviously, I downloaded external ones, so you can actually download them yourself on just daftfont.com, a really great website for free fonts. So this is basically, let's say that you have a video, this is how you place text on it. It's really simple, I know, but this is a beginner tutorial part two, guys, don't blame me. And let's say you did, that you want to add a fade. What you can do is you're gonna to go to the, uh, to the top, and you, as you can see, it says fade offset, drag this one to the right for a fade in, and on the other side dragging to the left for a fade out so when i just play back the video as you can see it is just fading in i can also shorten it so it's gonna fade out so this is how to re render out videos how to add text on a video let's say that you want to hear different things in part three make sure to let me know guys because i'm really wondering what you guys would like to see in part three so that's it for the video guys thank you guys for the support i will catch you guys uh, tomorrow for a new Vegas 14 tutorial actually about velocity tool the most requested video so far this year so that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow just alex halford